What's good guys? It's your boy Justin J coming to you another car video. Let's cook boys, let's cook. All right, handsome men's game, all right? And why you can't be too nice and too friendly with women. As an attractive guy, when you do this, this is gonna be two parts to this video, all right? And this is gonna help a lot of guys out because I can understand why you will want to be nice to a woman and you know have banter all the time and go back and forth. But you know, on one side, it can shoot you in the foot because you will end up going to the friend zone, that non-sexual category. You know, she's gonna put you there. And then there's a time where you're going to be too friendly and a woman's going to really like you and really keep coming forward. And if you're not sexually attracted to her, this is going to become annoying to you. She's going to become a nuisance to you. So I really wanna start on that part first because contrary to popular belief, women love to chase your validation. But see, if you give a woman signs that, you know, maybe there could be something there by being too nice, she will keep coming forward. And you will be annoyed by it because this woman probably won't be your ideal type, but you're just being, you know, a person. You would think that you're just being normal and no, it's not normal. So I remember when I was working at Applebee's, you know, this one chick there, I was very nice to her. I never, you know, turned my nose up at her. Whenever she talked to me, I would talk back to her. Hey, how's your day going? Oh, it's going great. How about yours? You see that small talk that doesn't really need to be there, but between people, you will think that this is just normal. This happens on a day to day, but you're forgetting that you are not the average guy. So yes, you can have conversations, but don't let them last too long because when a woman finds you very attractive, sexually attractive, you know, physically attractive, if you give off the energy that she has a shot with you, oh, nothing nice is coming for you. I remember I used to walk into work and this chick would like, after a couple of interactions, she would literally be like having her arms out, like trying to hug me. And I'm like, uh, I'm not sure about this. So I let it slide a couple of times in the beginning, gave her a hug thinking that it's just regular. No, this chick would come forward like crazy crazy to the point where she hugged me from behind one day i'm on the pos system i'm like what's wrong with you get away from me you know and i'm like i wasn't trying to be a dick like that but it got to the point where it was just like you know i created a monster i created a problem that never needed to be there in the first place by being too nice you have to let women know by your actions and your behaviors that you're that dude and this attention that you think is, you know, that you're getting from me, this ain't that. Because if you let it go on and linger, a woman will never get the hint, okay? Women who are not your ideal type are going to be the most bold. They're going to not get it. They're not gonna wanna get it. Do you know this chick kept up with this act for like six months? And here's another part, right? When you don't stop it, you know, a chick can invite you over. Hey, at that time I smoked. Hey, you wanna smoke? Hey, you want to go here? Hey, you want to do this? And I'm just like, yeah, I'll come over. You know, I smoked with her. This chick was damn near all over me. Remember that energy I told you that a woman brings to you when she's not sexually attracted to you? This story is absolutely hilarious. That's why I say, always check the things you say. If it sounds like it would come out of a woman's mouth, absolutely hilarious. Like I told this chick, she was all over me. I'm on one side of the couch. She's on the other side of the couch and she's like passing the blunt back and forth. We're smoking, we're watching something. She literally gets closer to me and then like starts to touch me. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not that type of guy. Like, you know, I need to get to know a person a little bit better. You know, I don't just jump into things like that. And besides, we're coworkers, you know, we're homies. I ain't about that. And she looks at me with the look of confusion, like, huh? I can't believe you're running the game that we run on guys that we don't like. You're running that on me. So, but see, this all could have been avoided. If I would have just been, you know, straight direct, you know, hey, oh, you about to start your shift? All right, cool. You know, and then just go about my day. But when you stop and you talk and you try to make them feel like comfortable with you, it's not your job to make every chick in a situation feel comfortable around you. Yes, you can be a person that's good with people. But as far as chicks that you don't find sexually attractive like that, and even if you do find her sexually attractive, do not do too much, which is going to lead into this part, right? When you talk to a woman too much, you're too nice, too friendly, 
when a woman has no choice to be logical, it's because you're doing stuff that lets her see that, oh, okay, he's in touch with his emotions and he wants to let his emotions show by like, you know, being vulnerable, talking too much, being too nice, talking about certain subjects that don't need to be spoken about. You know, a woman is going to be like, you know what? Uh, I thought this guy was sexually appealing. I thought he was attractive, but he's being way too nice. He's being way too open. There's nothing for me to figure out. And here's the thing, because as an attractive dude, women are going to hold you to higher expectations. They're immediately going to think off rip. You've got a bunch of girls that you're a player, you know, that you got it like that. And the moment that you start trying too hard, the moment that you're overly friendly, overly nice, she's like, okay, this guy is not the guy. This guy is an imitation of the guy or this guy. I thought he was the guy, but now I realize that he isn't. And nine times out of 10, it'll shoot you in the foot. So even when you make an approach at a woman, you got to let her know like, yo, I think you're sexy. You know, I'm trying to do this with you. Put my number in your phone. So it translates to her. I'm not trying to be your friend. You have to have that edge about you. All right. And let's go back to the other part. So I remember I used to do deliveries in this airport. Now is this chick, she wasn't bad looking, you know, but at the time, you know, this is like when I first got in shape and, you know, I would go everywhere in a tank top or in like a, a stringer. And this chick, I remember the first time she saw me, her eyes lit up. And, you know, I actually sat there as I'm waiting for somebody to come get their food. You know, I sat there and talked to this chick. So they took extra long. It was those people who like work outside by the airplane. So I guess they were handling something. So for like a good 20 minutes, I'm going back and forth with this chick. Do you know that every time I showed up after that, this chick treated me like I was straight celebrity. Remember celebrity energy when they really want you, when they're really into you, it was to the point where it would make you feel uncomfortable. Like it would make me feel uncomfortable. You know, like it was very... It was a turnoff. I'll put it like that. The way that this chick would just big me up like female simp. OK, you're going to experience female simps when you're a very attractive dude. She was just like, oh, look who's coming through. I know you having a good day. I could tell by the looks of you. And I'm just like, all right, you know, OK, if you're not going to tell me like, you know, I, even still, I don't want this energy, you know, because I don't want it from you. Do you see how that works? It's the same way, vice versa, of when a dude who a woman doesn't find sexually attractive like that just keeps coming forward. It got to the point where one day she's like, you look so good. Like, I just uh, like every time you come in here and I'm like, what am I, the queen of England? And her face was priceless. Again, when you treat women how they treat guys who they're not attracted to, they can't believe it. They can't believe it because no matter if a chick is average looking, she thinks that she can pull just about any dude that gives her uh, positive attention, no matter how sexually attractive he is. Like, even if she thinks for a second, you know, maybe I can't pull this dude. She swats that idea. It's like, I can pull this dude. Women are very delusional. So like when you say things like that, they always give you that look of, huh? Because you have to be that guy. See, this is exactly what I mean about meaning what you say, you know, say what you mean, mean what you say. And it's never going to come across as like you're being hurtful. It's just that you're not being overly nice. See how I started, you know, being too nice and, you know, going back and forth, talking about a bunch of nothing. Now, where did that lead me? Okay. Now you see the moment that I put my foot down and I'm like, yo, I don't want this energy from you. You know, like you're cool, but, um, I'm, you know, I'm just me, you know, just be a person with me. You know, don't really be all over me like that. And she's just like, huh? But you see how that works? There will be a guy that wants to be all over her the same way that she was trying to be all over me. She will completely reject that guy. You know, a lot of the times men think that women are this and women are that because they don't get these interactions with women. But you will see women literally acting like clowns, acting like fools, you know, going above and beyond for a guy's attention but really, he doesn't want her attention like that. That's how you have to lead as a man. It's never chasing attention. It's just being cool, calm and collected, you know, being about what you want, you know, or just, you know, being in your own zone. And you're going to see women pining for your attention, whether they say it verbally or they do it with their actions. And once you notice this stuff happening and you get used to it, you know that you are him and they are them. Now, I want to go back to you know the other part where it shoots you in the foot because guys think that 
you know, you have to get to know a woman. You have to be a friend to a woman. You know, the best relationships are, you know, friends first and relationship after. No, don't lead with that type of energy because a woman will see you as a man that she can use. And remember, if you're an attractive dude. You know, a woman's going to love to soak up that attention from you because you're attractive, yet you're not acting like you know that you're that attractive dude. You're acting like a friend. So hell yeah, she'll soak up that attention from you. She'll go on dates with you. She'll bring you around people. She'll sit up late night on FaceTime with you. She'll text you all day. Of course she'll do all of that. Why do I, why do you think I tell you guys don't do that? Because women love attention. It's like currency to them. So when you're an attractive, sexually attractive, physically attractive dude, you always have to remember, all right? If things are not getting physical, there is no communication like that between you. She has to earn these things. I'm telling you right now, when you get too friendly, too personal, all right? And you're acting way too nice to a chick, she knows that she didn't have to do anything to deserve this. And she will sit there and soak all of it up while another dude who's not being nice, who's not being, you know, too like forward, like, oh, I want to give you this good energy. I want to exchange energy with you. What? She will use you for that time, attention and validation while another guy doesn't do half of what you're doing. All right. But see, you guys will still be in that category of, you know, very attractive. But see, that guy is very sexually attractive as well. And when you're too friendly, you just fall out of that category. A woman has no choice but to be logical. And even when you're out in public, like I said, you can give a woman a compliment when you approach her because sometimes you have to build a woman up a little bit. Don't do it too much. That's another thing. When you compliment too much, it's like I seen a short not too long ago and the guy walks up to a chick and he's like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. Like, oh, you're out here by yourself. Oh, you, do you think I could get your number? And she's like, oh yeah, cool. He says it again. You know, I just can't believe it. Like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. Instantly, you can see her energy change. And she's like, oh, well, you know, actually I have a boyfriend and we're going through a breakup, but this, that, and the third. She was not gonna mention any of that. He was about to get her number, say a couple of things and keep walking. But it was that second way he, it was the second way he said that. I just can't believe it. Like, oh my gosh, you're, you're really so beautiful. She was like, oh, no, nope, it's done. He walked up, she could have liked what she saw. She could have been like, oh shit, like it's, it's lit, you know? I'm good, like this guy is my ideal type. That second compliment and her whole energy just shifted like, eh, I'm not sure about this. See, a woman will give you her number to get you out of her face real quick. I know it seems like it doesn't make sense, but it's like she still got that attention. But when it comes time to reciprocate, when you text the number, she's not texting back because you came off as way too friendly. All right. And you can even be, you know, very physically attractive, very attractive to her. This is why I'm putting this video out, because I need to wake guys up because you can be very attractive, very physically attractive. But sometimes it doesn't always transition over to sexually attractive if you're too nice and too friendly and especially in the work environment, too, like how I made the handsome men's game dealing with women at work. If you want to deal with women at work, I, look, I tell you, you know, proceed with caution. You know, it's risky. Do whatever you want. But especially in those situations, you never want to be the guy that she's like chit chatting with, you know, on shift like that. You want to be the guy who's like smacking her ass and meeting her after work. If that's how you want to go about it. Don't be that guy that just sits there and talks and talks and talks and talks. No, because you're going to turn into a friend someone that she can steal attention from not even steal because you're giving it to her up front for free you know in any situation if you see a chicken passing a lot keep it short keep it short and keep it pushing never give her the opportunity to see you as a friend as a brother as a confidant no 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 no, no. you want her to see you as a sexually attractive dude who's ready to get it popping who knows what he wants to happen and it's like either she has to get down or lay down because I'm telling you, in a lot of these situations, a guy can be, you ever have energy shifts with a chick where she's giving you that attention, she's reciprocating, she seems like she wants something to happen, and then out of nowhere, she just, you know, loses attraction, or falls off the face of the earth, or tells you, I'm not sure, you know, I'll come into some free time in two weeks from now, can we reschedule? No, you were just doing way too much. As a handsome select dude, you know, when you do too much, you're shooting yourself in the foot.
I'm gonna let you know that right now. It's okay to like a woman. It's okay to think that, you know, maybe there's something here. But when you're so outcome dependent that you're like, I have to give her this attention. I have to keep coming forward like this because if I don't, she will disappear. What? If she disappears, she disappears because, you know, if she leaves tomorrow, you can just move another chick in her position. In what position? Just the position of you are lucky that I'm providing you this opportunity in front of you right now. And if you don't want to partake in it, like I always say, she's got to go because you are the opportunity as a man. Don't be too nice and too friendly. Don't think that you have to have this chivalrous nature about you. No, a woman has to prove to you why you should be nice to her, why you should treat her good. And that's not to say treat women bad. It's just to say like, treat women as if like they're regular, like it's another person, you know? Like, what's up? How are you, you all right? All right, well, I'm about to go over here. You know, it's not like, oh, how are you today? Oh yeah, what'd you watch on TV last night? Oh, how's your family? Are they good? Blah, 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 blah. No, we're not doing any of that because it just takes away from you being that attractive dude. It's kind of like you could be physically attractive, attractive. And even if you got sexual with her, right? And you're like making her tingle, like you're making her feel things, right? You're getting her wet. Then out of nowhere, you just start pushing this extra friendly energy, giving hugs, not going for kisses, you know, giving her a regular hug, like letting her side hug you as opposed to, you know, hugging her around her waist you know, sniffing her neck, pulling her in, like, damn, you smell good. I'm trying to have this smell on my bed sheets. Like, what's up? Like, you got to say shit like that. Look at them with a confident smile. Do not do this friendly, like this friendly acting song and dance. I'm telling you right now, if a woman views you a certain type of way, but your actions don't back it up, oh yeah, you're instantly getting sent to the non-sexual, like non-sexual attention. Like I need him for non-sexual attention, that category. You're going in that pile. You want a woman to look at you like, okay, I want his sexual attention. And the only way to get the sexual attention is to get sexual with him, is to have sex with him. So never get confused by any of this stuff because that's exactly why, because you're just confusing yourself by being overly friendly and overly nice. Because when a woman wants the dude that she finds sexually attractive, it's because he's not being that nice. You ever wonder why a woman could be in a relationship with a guy he does everything. You know, he's very attentive. He takes her places, gives her good experiences, but he's just too much of a nice guy. And then there's another guy that she goes to deal with for sex purposes only. And she cheats. It's because that guy's not doing too much. You know, it's this whole like being mysterious thing. That's a part of being mysterious, not being too friendly and not being too nice because they never know where they stand with you. But the moment you start talking too much, blabbing about stuff that isn't important, blabbing about stuff that doesn't exactly correlate to what you want to happen with this female, oh yeah, it's like, it's done. It, it just, the attraction falls because she had an image of you and she sees an image of you, but I'm talking about the image of how you will behave around her, the experience that you will give her, you know? She's envisioning like having sex with you. But the moment you start acting like you're just like, I'm so gung ho about you and I really want to get to know you like that. And I really want to be friends first and stuff like that. And, you know, it's OK. We can take it slow. She instantly knows you are not the guy. So just remember, if you want things to go in your favor with a woman that you're very sexually attracted to, you're into her, you're feeling the energy, you're feeling her vibe. All right. Just stay cool. Don't try to play the friend vibes because if you do, you're going to be designated to the friend zone and then you got nobody to get mad at but yourself. And remember, if you're an attractive dude, physically attractive, sexually attractive, you guys are, look, you're so ahead in the game, but the thing that'll shoot you in the foot is, and, and the thing that's crazy about it too, is it makes you just like everyone else. And women have seen the same guy over and over again. They've done the same song and dance over and over again. They're looking for that one dude that's going to stand out, you know? So they'll use other guys for attention because those are just males. But you, when you're straight, direct and forward, you know, you got good energy and you're not giving her all this attention. She sees a man, man, males. A woman will get under a man, but then use the males for what she can use them for. That's game for you. Remember that. It's your boy, Justin J. Get with you boys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go, boys. Let's go.